The Cooler Master Mobius series of fans is relatively interesting, especially the OC version. But today, today it's about size. Meet the Cooler Master Mobius 140p ARGB, a 140mm fan capable of spinning at up to 1900 rpm, full of ARGB from the inside out and infused with that Mobius string going all around the seven aggressively bent wings. Whilst allowing the four-pole motor with its loop dynamic bearing to spin at their max rate at 99 rpm, this puppy or these puppies are capable of pushing up to 67.5 CFM at up to 2.3 millimeters of H2O. But before we dive any deeper into those fans, let's have a look at the benchmarks. For our hybrid case almost heatsink benchmark, we found something quite interesting. They are freaking good. At 39.5 degrees C above ambient, they were one of the best performing 140mm case fans we have seen so far, just a tick behind the Fantex M25. But the most important comparison would be the Noxia NFA14, which was defeated just by an inch, but defeated. Then we slowly lowered the fan speed and recorded the noise at each step, creating a noise to performance graph. Here, keep in mind that if a line is closer to this corner, it is the better fan. And now look at this nice, beautiful line. Compared to pretty much every 140mm fan we have seen so far, the Mobius 140 beats the crap out of all of them. Either they are a few dB quieter at the same temperature, or they are significantly colder while it's being just as loud. As a case fan, in 140mm form factor, this is right now as good as it freaking gets. But what about radiator performance? For our radiator specific benchmarks, we use the Octopus, a machine equipped with a 4.8 GHz all core 185 w strong 9900K in combination with multiple radiators with a variety of thicknesses and FPIs. From there we measure the water temperature after it exits the radiator and subtract the ambient air temperature giving us the temperature of the water above ambient. After starting the fan at 100% fan speed, we reduced the fan speed in 10% decrements and measured the noise omitted by the fan on top of a radiator from a 1 meter distance, giving us a nice noise to performance curve, which we will see later on. But benchmarking a single fan takes upwards of 3 hours, so uh, we are still limited to the small selection of fans we were able to push through before we do this review. So. Uh, in, f in the future, the list will become longer. For the Mobius 140p, we will focus on the 60mm thick 10 FPI radiator only, allowing a 140p to spin at its max 1900 rpm, allowed the water to be cooled down to 11.1 degrees C above ambient. This positions it just slightly behind the Noxia NFA14, but significantly behind the ridiculously good performing Fantex M25. However, as we saw on the case benchmark charts, the 140p's best feature is not performance, it is noise. And although it is not capable of getting the air as cold as the other contestants, what it can do is a lot quieter. Until we hit that 40 dB mark, the Cooler Master Mobius 140p was capable of keeping the absolute best noise to performance ratio so far. From there, the M25 took off until the Mobius 140p died at around 42 dB. Interesting to see here though is that the Noxia NFA14 is slightly better at max performance, but does so at the cost of solely noise. From start to finish, the A14 was a lot behind. Compared to the M25, it's also quite interesting. If we split the graph into below and above 40 dB, we could say that a 140p is the more interesting option if your workload is lower and you don't need that burst performance, but if, if you do, the M25 is definitely the better player. But let's now take a closer look at the fan itself. Obviously, given its name, it looks like a one-to-one -one copy of a Mobius 120p just a bit bigger. It has the same amount of wings, they are bent in the exact same way, the rubber corners look identical, 
It has the same nicely sleeved 30 cm long PVM and 3 pin ARGB cables. It comes with the same ARGB splitter attached at the end. And it comes with another one of Cooler Master's ARGB connection enforcers, which no doubt that thing is like the most useful component you can have if you are building a big ass RGB infused PC with a bunch of fans. This thing is gold. And if you remember my take on the Mobius 120p, you can imagine how I stand when it comes to the 140p. Performance aside, the quality is, is really great, the frame is stiff, the wings don't feel like they will fall apart at any moment, and to be honest, I would even say the 140p is slightly more sturdy than a 120p, but that's probably due to the frame being a little bit thicker in the top here. I, I think that's the sole reason. Pushing performance back onto the mix, I was shocked to see how well it performed as a case fan. Very, very, very good indeed. For radiators, exceptionally well for the lower end, but not enough like rooms to, to push other fans away. It's, it's good for mid-tier radiator performance, uh, not 3900K, very, very dense radiator. That's, that's not it, but a regular, normal 25mm alpha cool with a 13700K behind everything, this will do just fine. Design-wise, it's ARGB. You got to decide for yourself what works for you. I can only say that the light shines nice and shiny, the whole thing glows pretty much as you would expect. You can do everything via software, either the one that your motherboard comes with, or whatever Cooler Master's own thing of the day is called, or whatever third parties are pushing out right now. Before we end this today, crap-tastic product descriptions. Perfecting engineering, Cooler Master's 140p ARGB is our new series of performance fans. With our enhanced ring blade design, the Mobius series optimizes both performance and acoustics, catering to a dynamic range of applications from case, liquid or air, to overclocking and intense gaming. Damn, that, that was unnaturally fairy dust free for Cooler Master. Pretty, pretty straight to the point. But one thing I have to give Cooler Master, they talk a fair bit about them acoustically optimizing the fan to a point where it doesn't blast like a single frequency out, annoying you as hell. And although I cannot measure it without like a 2 or 3k expensive dB meter, I can personally say that the sound on these is slightly different. Also on the normal 120 piece, but on Mobius series fans, it's, it's like slightly different. It sounds like a bit dull, um, if that explains it somehow. It's, I feel like it's a lower frequency, but I just can't measure it. And I can guarantee you my microphone will not pick it up. It's, I think it's too low. But okay, this should be all for Cooler Master and their newest Mobius 140p ARGB in 140mm. At this point, a huge thank you to Cooler Master for sending them over. On a side note, we also have a Discord server, so if you want to join, the link is down below. And of course, we still have channel membership, so if you're looking for a good way to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's a pretty good way to go. Additionally, can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but will also serve to push some more funding into the research of Mobius strips, because it works. It works. Anyway, thank you for watching and if you want to continue, have a look at our take on the Cooler Master Mobius 120p. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.